correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think you're the only chef who smokes pot in America. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely correct, sir. I've known Chris Lantner, head chef and owner at Cash Cash Restaurant in Aspen for a few years, and there's not too many people that really combine high-end cannabis and high-end cuisine in one person like he does. This is a chef who's been on the High Times Cannabis Cup Edible judges team for at least two or three years. So I'm telling you, I think he knows what he's doing. I did two stages, one in southern central France, one on an island in Brittany, and then the rest of the time I was in Paris. It was my culinary school. I was working 90 hour weeks. I arrived in Aspen in 97, and I've been at Cash Cash since August of 2000, so we're coming up on 14 years leading like now. This is a lot like getting stoned and watching cooking shows at home, except yeah. you can smell the food and you'll get to eat it, so I'd say it's superior. Yeah. Well, I've always really enjoyed smoking marijuana on a daily basis. It mellows me out and keeps me sane. Anything you can use oil with, butter with, it's a potential candidate to be a marijuana infused edible. In the hands of somebody who knows what they're doing, the possibilities are limitless now, and people are really starting to think about marijuana in a different way. As soon as I talked to Chris about this idea, he was on board 100%. He was already thinking about what strains should we get, how should we infuse them, can we smoke and pair with the wine. He had all kinds of ideas. So the first place he wanted to go was talk to his personal caregiver, B. This is my caregiver and my one of my good friends, one of my boys, uh, B, in the house. <laughs> The regulation on medical marijuana is considerably stricter. There's a process you do have to go through to get it, which concludes a doctor's visit. With that, you can give permission to grow your six plants to a caregiver. B, I know that you can help me find the flavors and the aromas that I'm looking for to take this dinner to the next level. I know you like the bubble gum. It's a very extremely sweet bouquet, especially on the front end. You could pair that with a lot of things, realistically, something on the dessert menu. I have a sativa here, the Golden Goat. Yeah, food wise, it's great citrus in your face. Yeah. Death Star? This, when you smoke it, it puts the boogie woogie in your brain. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's one of the nice things when they talk about stoner cuisine is that idea of sweet and sour, hitting a couple of notes at once. And Sure. This could work really well on something like that. Totally. Well, so, okay, would you maybe come down to the store with us tomorrow? I'd love to do that. <laughs> All right, cool. We're going to go to the Green Dragon, and we'll meet you down there tomorrow. <laughs>